Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There has been four earthquakes in the location of Stanton, Texas, the largest being a 4.0. And those of you that follow me know that any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock of something much larger. And these earthquakes were progressively getting larger until the magnitude 4.0 earthquake occurred. These earthquakes started out at 1221 today with a magnitude 3.3 earthquake, which nine people reported feeling. The next earthquake was at about 112 local time, which was larger, was a magnitude 3.6, which eight people reported feeling. Then I believe at 244 local time was a magnitude 4.0, even larger. But then we had a smaller one, a magnitude 2.5 at 2.56 local time. These earthquakes were relatively shallow. This was only 1.3 kilometers in depth. That's not even one mile below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. The 3.6 was 5.5 kilometers in depth. So that would be almost three and a half miles in depth. That one was deeper. And then the 4.0 was 5 kilometers in depth, or about 3 miles below sea level. This one, they do have a motion tensor ball on it. Here it shows we have uplift, which is quite unusual. I'm surprised with all the oil, oil and gas extraction going on there that we didn't have subsidence. Using Google Earth, here is the location of all those earthquakes, all within this huge gigantic oil field see all the pads there for the oil and gas production if you come out it just looks like yeah pockets of yeah bombing it's 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 huge the amount of oil and gas um, being extracted from this location i've talked about you know the chances of a large earthquake you can see 3.3 3.6 4.0 might just be a fluke for a smaller one, a 2.5. We can only hope for a smaller one. But you very well could have a magnitude 5 or even a magnitude 6 in this location. Some of the felt reports came all the way from Odessa or close to Odessa. We got Midland, Big Spring. Um, I can't see any name for up here, but we do have Mustang Draw and North U.S. Highway 87. We got one response there for there from Tarzan. Um, another one from Tarzan. Uh, response from Not. Um, another one from Tarzan. Let's see here. Big Spring. There was one response from there. USGS doesn't put down all the reports. They go through them and filter out some that they think might be unreliable. Stanton had eight reports there. Another two there. Midland. Six responses from Midland in that location and another three from there. The reports for the magnitude 3.6. We got Midland, one there. Uh, Big Spring, one. Stanton, two. Another one from Stanton. Uh, Lenora, one. Another one from Big Spring. And that's all they're showing. I noticed, too, that these earthquakes are along what's called the Cambrian Ridge. It's actually a much larger fault zone than what I have drawn out in red. Here we got 1995 was a magnitude 5.7. On 1931, there was a magnitude 6.0, or it could have been a 5.8, somewhere in between there in 1931. An example of how the oil and gas industry has created these earthquakes there never used to be any earthquakes in Fort Worth until 2008. None whatsoever. Not until they started the wastewater disposal from the gas and oil industry. Here's a paper dated from 2017 and talks about uh, reported 200 earthquakes with at least 32 with a magnitude greater than 3 and magnitude 1. From 2013 to when this paper was written in 2017, there was over 1,300 earthquakes with a magnitude of 1.0 to 4.0.
Now, in the Dallas, Texas area, um, as of 2017, they had low volume injection wells for the wastewater. So that area was not greatly affected by induced earthquakes. But as you can see here, let me pull this back over to the these recent earthquakes. Yeah, um, this is definitely caused by the injection of wastewater from the oil and gas production. I hope people there are prepared for a large earthquake. Things bolted to the wall. You have um, emergency supplies and um, yeah, medical supplies, batteries, flashlights, etc. People reported hearing the earthquake before they felt the jolt. Uh, I would not be surprised if you have another large earthquake coming, larger than the 4.0. It would not surprise me at all. I certainly hope not. Um, but if you did feel this earthquake and if you had any damage, um, please put down what you noticed before, during, and afterwards. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.